So I'm going to invent object-oriented programming. Um, if that sounds boring, you can sneak out now. Um, I'm so excited, aren't we? <laughs> <laughs> and so I'm going to use a programming language called Scheme um, to do this because it's very simple and, uh, it does, it, and powerful. And so Scheme is a Lisp, which means I start by typing a parenthesis. I'm going to define a function called make incur and it returns one. It's short for make increment. Um, so it's not even a function. It's, right now it's just a value called make incur. And it returns one. So I wanted to give a, <laughs> thanks Kim. I want to give a different result each time. Awesome. Cool. I w so I wanted to give an incrementing number instead. And so here's how I'm going to get there. Um, so first I'm going to redefine make incur. And I'm going to define it to be a function. So I'm going to use lambda that returns one. And so now make incur is a lambda. So it's now a thunk, the past tense of to think. Um, and it is now a function that always returns one. So I can type it again, and it returns one every time. Cool, so that's, now I have a function instead of a value, so that's a good step. Um, for my next step, I'm going to find make incur. I'm going to, I'm going to have it return a number uh, some variable instead. So make incur, I'm going to let n be zero, that syntax is weird, let n be zero within this lambda that returns n. Close the lambda, close the let, close the define. So now make incur returns zero every time. Okay, so now I have, I have this n inside this function, inside this let, where I define n to be zero. But I can do better, better than that. Um, and just to give words to things, uh, this, um, this lambda, oh, this, this let closes over the lambda. And so this let creates a closure um, with the lambda inside of it. Um, lots of people in very confused communities seem to use the word closure to mean lambda, which is crazy, because how are you going to do this if you think a closure is a lambda? Uh, how are you going to invent object-oriented programming like that? So I'm going to define make incur to first let n be zero inside this lambda, lambda, that takes no arguments, it's just a function of no arguments. And then I'm going to do two things. So I'm going to create a begin block, which allows me to sequence things in Scheme. Sequencing is a hard thing to do in programming. I don't know why. Um, but we have to use begin in order to sequence. So I'm going to set empath you know, with excitement. I'm going to set n to be n plus 1. This is how we write n plus 1 in Scheme. Uh, we write it as plus n1. Because uh, because functions always appear in the same place, and then once I've done that, I'm going to return n. So I close the begin, I close the lambda, I close the let, I close the define, and I call make incur. I get one again, hooray! And so to restate what I've done, before I, I'm going to run it after this and see whether it worked. But to restate what I've done, <laughs> make incur is a closure over a function that first sets n to n plus 1, so it increments n, and then returns n. This seems like it will work. I'm going to try it. Yeah. I've now made a function that self-increments. Um, so that's half of object-oriented programming right there. Uh, I now have a closure. I have this n, and I cannot get it out. Alan Kay, who created object-oriented programming, wrote that he wanted to minimize mutation and encapsulate it uh, with the idea of removing it entirely. He never got there. Um, 
And that's what we've done. We've minimized our mutation and encapsulated it to just this one variable that we cannot get out and we cannot interact with. Um, so that's fantastic. We got halfway there. I want to do something crazy. I want to send a method call to this making curve. I want to say reset. And I want to have, I want to have that give me back the, the zero. And I want to say next and have that give me back the number. So I'm going to get crazy. Define make incur. So I need to let n be 0, like that. Now my lambda is going to take a message. I'm going to call it a message. Some people can call it a method. Alan Kay called it a message. Um, and so now I need to look at this message. If the, I hope I got this right, EQ message is equal to reset, then I want to begin. No, I don't want to begin. I just want to set n to 0. That's all reset does. It sets n to 0. Otherwise, well, I'll say EQ message next begin set n to plus n1 return n close the begin close the close that close that close that close that there we go. you look good at that closing thank you <laughs> so now if I call make incur Error D mismatch, expected number of arguments, expected one argument given zero. So I'm going to make incur reset, and that returns nothing visible. Make incur next gives me one, two, one. Thank you. <laughs> I've now made an object that receives messages and, and does different things based on it. So that I have in front of you, and I will scroll up, created object-oriented programming out of lambdas. Thank you. <laughs>